AWS has over 200 services and you want to learn AWS, but you're confused because with so many services, you don't know where to get started. You've also taken a look at different training programs. However, some of them cost money and because you're confused, you're a little bit hesitant to get started. But the good news is you can cast all your worries aside because in this video, I'm going to go over 18 free training plans to where you can get started learning AWS today. No matter whether you're starting in the beginning of your journey, somewhere in between, or a little bit more on the advanced side, I have something just for you. If you're new here, I'm Greg, creator of Thoughtful Techie Cloud. This is a platform to help people navigate their AWS cloud and tech journey. I create videos on a weekly basis to do just that. It doesn't matter whether you're new to tech, in an IT support role where you're trying to jump in the cloud, or maybe you're in a cloud role, but you want to boost your knowledge to be more effective in your role. This is the channel where we make that happen. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe right now. Now it's time to dive into the screen share while I go over all the details. Now the first thing you need to understand is the concept of an AWS Learning Badge. Now AWS Learning Badge is just a digital badge that allows you to share some level of AWS knowledge and skills that you achieved. Now, these learning badges are not to be confused with AWS certifications. That's a topic for another video. But these learning badges are going to give you three overarching benefits. The first is that they're going to allow you to demonstrate your knowledge and skills for the specific AWS cloud topic that you're studying for. Let's say you wanted to do a deeper dive in object storage. You can gain a digital badge that demonstrates just that. The AWS digital badges are also shareable on your social networks. So for example, if you want to get the eyeballs of recruiters, you can take these digital badges that you earn and now share them on LinkedIn, for example, to help with prospective hiring. Now, in terms of the cost of these digital learning badges, they're absolutely free, the ones I'm going to show you. And you also have to understand how to earn an AWS digital badge. It's just four steps. You're going to register for AWS Skill Builder. Then you're going to enroll in a specific learning plan for the digital badge that you want to pursue. You're going to work to earn that digital badge. So you're going to take that learning plan and consume all the training modules. Then at the end of that training module, you're going to, there's going to be an assessment where you're going to need to score 80%. Once you've scored that 80%, then you'll be awarded that digital badge and you claim that digital badge through opening a Credly account. That's the distributor of the digital badges. Now, what I'd like to do now is jump over to the badges on Credly so you can see what I'm talking about. I want to draw your attention specifically to the AWS Knowledge Badges. There are 18 Knowledge Badges that I want to go over right now. And I was, as I was mentioning at the very start of the video, there is something for every level depending on wherever you are in your journey, whether it's beginning, middle, or more advanced. Now, there are quite a few learning badges to choose from. So I'm just going to scroll through just to give you an overview of, of what we got going here. And I'll drill into some of these. I'll provide a link in the description below so you can do a deeper dive of these. But let's say you're just getting started off on your AWS cloud journey. What you'll do is, for example, is click on the AWS Knowledge Badge for Cloud Essentials. So you click on this. Now, let's say you're trying to decide, OK, which Knowledge Badge is right for you? When you click on these, there's a description at the top of each one. So for this one, it says earners of this badge have developed knowledge of foundational AWS cloud concepts with a focus on AWS compute, storage, networking, database services, security architecture, pricing and support. Then for the earning criteria, where you want to go is the hyperlink where it says for customers and AWS partners. You click on this and then it takes you over to the corresponding learning plan and you'll be a particular interested in the learning plan structure. The learning plan structure talks about all the modules that will be included in this learning badge that will, you'll use to prepare in order to get ready for your assessment. And then you can drill down here on the side where it really expands what each one of these classes are about. And in terms of time duration, you can look here, for example, and, and see that the job roles in AWS Cloud, this one's 30 minutes. We can collapse this and look at AWS Cloud Practitioner Essentials. The duration here is seven hours. You can expand that and then you get a real detailed overview of what it is you're going to learn broken out by modules. Now we can hop back over here to the Credly page and then we can go back and this takes us back to the rest of the badges. 
And let's say you're interested in architecting, especially if you at some point want to learn more about solution architecture in AWS, this architecting knowledge badge is a great one. Now, same thing, earners of this badge have developed technical skills and knowledge of AWS concepts and services with their focus on designing solutions on AWS and using best practices. Again, you'll go to that customers and partners link. This jumps over to the skill builder link I was telling you about on AWS skill builder. Pop over to that learning plan structure. And here you see all the different training components of this learning plan. Technical essentials, introduction to identity access management, compute services overview, and the list goes on and on. And it, for example, let's say you wanted to drill into the AWS database offerings. You see here that it's a four hour duration. You hit that drop down and who the intended audience is for. These are videos, the course outline of everything you're going to learn. Relational databases, non-relational databases, database migration, and the list goes on. And so what you'll do is you'll just use this AWS knowledge badge as a landing page, this particular collection. And when you, whatever you're interested in, you just drill into, you read to see if this is the right fit for you. And if it is, you go over to that customer or partner link. It takes you over to skill builder and you just enroll in that free learning plan. Now, again, at the end of each corresponding learning plan, there is an assessment. That's an open book assessment to where you can use everything that you've learned, even if it means watching the videos again or looking through that AWS documentation so that you can achieve a score of 80% or higher. Once you've done that, then Credulity will award your Credulity account. And then once you get that populated to your account, you have a link to where you can go to LinkedIn and, and socialize that on social media so that you can attract the eyes of your social network as well as potential recruiters. These learning badges are absolutely free. You get to learn a ton about AWS, and it's a really great way to jumpstart your AWS cloud learning. Wow, I know that was a lot of information. Definitely go back and watch that to figure out where to start makes most sense for you. Share, like, and comment on the video as it helps the channel to grow. In the future, if you're considering AWS certification, this will be a great video right here to get started with to answer your questions. I'll see you in the next video.